Welcome back to Clean Freak and Germaphobe. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your windshield super shiny. And I'm talking about the inside of your windshield. But first, if you are new to Clean Freak and Germaphobe, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos about cleaning tips and hacks. But now, let's jump in to the video. So to clean this off, you are going to want to use three microfiber cloths. And I'm going to give you an option. You can either use a melamine sponge. This is like a Mr. Clean sponge. Or you can use rubbing alcohol. Either one of those, whatever you have, both work just fine. And the last thing you'll need is whatever glass cleaner that you use in your car. Make sure that you take a moment to clean the outside of your windshield. This way you can see better what you're trying to clean on the inside. Now I actually didn't clean this half. I only cleaned this half. I'm not sure if you can tell, but this is the side I cleaned and it's definitely a lot cleaner. There are some little spots here that aren't gonna be cleaned off because they're little chips from rock, especially that one right there. That was huge. That happened just last week. So that's not gonna come clean, but we're not worried about that today. So the first step is to just take a dry microfiber cloth and you want to use that without any products on it to wipe the windshield down. It's best to start in circular motions to clean the whole windshield and then flip your cloth over and then go back and forth up and down. Now I know it's really tough to get down at the corner where the vinyl meets the windshield. Just do the best you can. But what you don't want to do is let your microfiber cloth touch the dash. Like I told you, it already has oils in it, especially if you use any products that leave oil on your dash. You don't want that oil to get on your microfiber cloth. Otherwise, you're going to be putting that oil right back onto the windshield. Then flip your rag over, go back over the windshield again, just going up and down. The next step is to get your melamine sponge and get it wet. And then squeeze out the excess water. The melamine sponge, or Mr. Clean if you will, does a really good job at picking up any grease and dirt that's on your windshield. So again, you're just gonna use circular motions. And you're gonna use that to clean the entire windshield. When you're done, grab a new microfiber cloth and you're gonna use this to go over and pick up all the residue that was left from the windshield. Like I mentioned earlier, if you don't have Mr. Clean sponges, that's okay. Rubbing alcohol does an amazing job as well. And pro tip, when you get a new bottle of rubbing alcohol, don't open up the whole seal. Just poke a little hole at the top. This will allow a controlled flow of alcohol to come out of the bottle. It makes everything so much easier. So what you want to do is just spray a little bit directly on your microfiber cloth. And then you're going to use that to clean the grease and the oil off of your windshield. Both do a great job. Whichever you have is going to work really well. And then the final step is to grab your glass cleaner and you'll want to spray it directly on your microfiber cloth. Don't spray it onto your windshield. You don't want the spray to fall down and land on your dash. As a side note, when you're using the melamine sponge or the alcohol, if you have any dripping, make sure you clean that up right away as well. Any cleaner or product that falls on the dash could stain it. So you want to spray your cleaner directly on to your microfiber cloth. Then use this to give your final polish to your windshield. All right, and when you're done, your windshield should be sparkly clean and you'll be able to see out of it in the daylight and also, especially at night, you're not gonna have that greasy glare on your windshield. So I hope that you liked this video if you did. Hey, give this video a thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe to Clean Freak and Germaphobe. Remember to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Up next, I'm gonna show you our video on how to deep clean the interior carpet of your car. It's a really nice pro tip, all the pros use it. And I'm gonna link to that video right here. Click on that and we will see you over there.